are outside today. Thought I'd take advantage of the day because we all need to get outside on a gorgeous day like this. Whether we are in a time where we need to be staying isolated or a time when we're not. It is a beautiful day. It is spring and as spring goes in Illinois, tomorrow will be winter. So let's enjoy it while we got it. Because we are outside, our playlist consists of trucks, of air, of garden, of all kinds of outside sounds. So please enjoy them. If you would like music in your video, I highly, highly, highly recommend going to Spotify and finding DJ Taz Rashid. He's amazing. He's got great yoga playlists and you'll love him. I promise you. I would have him on in this, but we also understand that musicians like yoga teachers are independent artists and need to be paid for their work. So since we're out of work, love you. Play your music. All right, friends, let's just take a moment right where we are. Whether you are standing or you are seated, let's just take a moment to come into this space. Close your eyes, breathe in the air. Feel the sensation of the air brushing across your skin. Take a full big breath. And a long exhale. Take in one more beautiful breath. Exhale. Bring yourself into this moment. Everything before this moment is past. Everything after this moment has not happened yet and therefore there is no point dwelling on it. Take one more big round of breath. And exhale. Tuck chin or chest. Slowly begin to blink eyes open. Inhale, bring chin back to horizon. Wow, that's really bright when you're doing that outside. <laughs> let's start, since we're standing, let's start with a little bit of twist. So feet hip distance apart, shoulders up, back and down. Arms at the side, big inhale, bring arms all the way up. Tuck everything in here, bring everything in a nice neutral line, chin in line with chest. A nice twist to the left. Bring the right arm down in front, the left arm down and back as you're making a low V. Look down over your back fingertips. Inhale back to the top. Exhale, let's twist to the left. Come on. Twist to the right, my left. Look down over your right fingertips. all the way back up. Those of you who practice with me at the gym are used to these sounds. Instead of the big trucks are usually basketball. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, let's twist to the right. That warm sunshine feels amazing. Inhale, up to center, bring hands together. Draw down to heart center. I'm hoping to warm up enough to start to unlayer, but we'll see how that goes. Inhale, it's all the way up, we're just some half sunnies, just the up and down part, not the in between part. Nice and tall, reach for the sky, feet remain hip distance apart. As we fold forward, hinge here at your waist and follow your gaze. Follow your gaze, I should say, follow your hands. Reach long with your hands, reach far to stride. Breath right here in this forward fold. Full breath in and out. Full breath in and out. Come halfway up. Forward fold, bend the knees generously. Inhale all the way back to the sky. Down to heart center. Let's do that once more. 
inhale all the way up. Forward fold. Take three rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders roll onto that. better already, right? Draw hands down to heart center. Moving things. We're all doing things inside, outside to keep ourselves busy, right? And so this morning, I decided to rearrange my bedroom. Right? Crazy. So, in any form of workout, whether it's a cardio workout, a strength, weightlifting workout, you still need to stretch your body to have an equal balance of strength and flexibility to have a healthy, fit body. So we'll continue to stretch our body. We'll go through our basic flow here. Again, I do not practice vinyasa. So please feel free when we get to any point where you would like to add in a vinyasa, if that is within your practice, to add that in there. I am also wearing socks on a mat. And we know what happens with socks and leg warmers and mat when you go into down dog. They get scrunchy. So I may or may not be omitting that or maybe doing it slowly. Do what works for you if you are inside on a bare floor or you are inside on your mat with bare feet. Do what works for you. I'm going to turn this way now. We'll take a little bit more of a flow. So we'll inhale. Come all the way up. Forward fold. Stretch long. Stretch everything in the tailbone, in the spine, let it elongate, create lots of space, halfway lift, hold forward place, hands on ground, leave right foot where it is, step left foot back, all the way up, I realize I'm backwards, I'm going to shift. Find your nice warrior two stance. Check your heel and your arch. Press your outer or your front knee open to open here through your hip. Roll on to the nice edges of your feet. Settle in. Take two long breaths here. Nice and sturdy arms straight out to the side. Big breath in. Fingers gazing over your front fingers. Or gaze over your front fingers. One more breath. that right palm. Let's inhale. Come all the way up. Hand can come down just above, just below, or can wrap behind. Avoid the knee joint. It's a very precious joint. When you reach back into your reverse warrior, open up the side body here. Make it nice and long. Let it breathe. Reach fingers straight up. Gaze can stay straight in front of you or can look up at your fingers. One more breath. Inhale as you exhale, bring them all the way up. Bring elbow down to knee. Take the left arm, sweep it up. Find that beautiful angle, open. Sink into the knee. Put a nice straight line from fingertips down to toes. When you're in your socks and it's windy, you gotta root even harder. Reach nice and long. Big breath in.
shift the weight into all four corners of the feet rather than tilting way back or tilting way forward. Have a nice equal distribution of weight. Take three more rounds of breath. Bring your right arm back again. You can come down the thigh or you can come and wrap around the back. Push weight into the outer edges of the feet as you make a nice long side stretch here in your reverse warrior. Two more breaths. Inhale, bring your elbow down to knee. So your right arm. Get up here. Find that nice long extended angle, fingertips down to toes, nice beautiful angle. Holy cat, that was a wasp. Forget what those things are like when you've been in winter all, well, all winter. Take two more breaths. Nice stretch, elongation. One more, big breath in. And out, press into the feet. Inhale, bring the right arm up and over. Let's take one more forward fold. Feet parallel to the outside edges of the mat. Forward fold. Maybe this time you take your forward fold into a different shape. Maybe you come down exactly as you did, or maybe you go to the leg. Walk over to the opposite. Be kind to your hamstring. Give them love, but don't overstretch them. Three more breaths wherever you are with a beautiful flat back. Allow yourself to roll. You're rolling yourself up. Hands find their way down. As your hands find your way down, allow glutes to come down. Work your way to the ground. Find yourself in Baddha Konasana. Soles of feet together. Hands at ankles or shins or knees, wherever you can find that nice chin toward chest, not like this, but 
But rather than having your chin jut out like this, keep it in a neutral place where the neck is in line with the rest of the spinal column. Let's take three beautiful rounds of breath, full breath in. And out. are to take a nice closed knee child's pose to get a stretch into the middle back or if you'd like to stretch more into your lumbar spine bring toes together bring knees wide bring your glutes to your heels inhale sit nice and tall exhale walk forward head can rest on mat head can rest on hands find what works for you arms can be long if you're in wide knee child's pose or closed knee or if your knees are together, you can bring your arms long alongside the body. Let's take three more breaths wherever you are. Full breath in. And out. Full breath in. And out. Full breath in. long on your mat, on your belly. We'll set up for sphinx. Let your legs be long behind you. Let your elbows come under the shoulders. Tops of feet flat on the ground. Roll the shoulders onto back, gaze the head, but not here. Here, between the hands on the mat. Shoulders are rolled onto back. The lower half of the body is engaged. Contract all the muscles in the legs, allow the knees to come off the ground as the tops of the feet remain planted. Hold here. Take six long breaths. Now this is a deep compression on the spine, so if at any point it becomes too much in the low back, I invite you to make a pillow with your hands, come down, bring your toes into touch, and open up to the side. We've got four more long breaths. Full breath in. Exhale. Three more. Two more breaths. One more breath in. And out. Now to stretch this out down for just a moment. Let's come into that rescue pose. Bring the big toes together. Let the heels just fall apart. Bring forehead down to hands. Take three breaths.
side, put toes into ground. And just for a moment, press up through tabletop into down dog and stretch everything out. And we're not coming back to standing, but if your body is needing a vinyasa, please feel free to flow through that. And find your way back down to your back. Those of you hanging out here in down dog, bend the knees back to ground. That stretch felt really juicy, right? Make your way onto your back. Take a reclined figure four into a twist. Bring the knees down. Bring the knees up, I should say. Feet down. Hip distance apart. Hips are here. The knees stay hip distance. Equal pressure apart. Allow the right foot to rest over the left ankle. Flex through the right foot. Take gentle pressure with the right hand onto the right knee. Chin, instead of jutting up at the ceiling, chin presses down toward chest. When your body feels ready, take left hand around outside of left thigh, right hand through the center. Inhale, grab the back of the thigh, draw toward the body. Head remains on the ground. I'm just lifting my focus up here. Notice the closer that you draw the legs to the body, the greater the sensation you'll likely feel in the bent leg, the cross leg, I should say. So in this case, on the right side, you'll probably feel that back here in that space between the glute and the thigh, still the hammy, but up at the top. Now option to stay right here if this sensation feels amazing. But if you'd like to get into the left hamstring as well, you can extend the left leg to the sky, flex the heel up, Draw the toes down toward the body. Press the hamstring into the clasped fingers as you draw the leg toward the body. Chin still remains pressed toward chest. Three more breaths. Third breath, if you have not already, return left leg to bent position. Inhale, release the hands, return sole of left feet to ground. Take arms out to a T or to a goal post, whatever serves your space and your body in this moment. Inhale, and as you exhale, twist to the left so sole of right foot meets the ground. Gaze can be up at the sky or gaze can be out over your right fingertips. Let's stay here for six breaths, full breath in. Five more, just like that. Allow right shoulder to remain grounded. pressure to the left knee. Very, very gentle. Just to give it a little nudge, a little stretch. Take right hand around outside of right thigh. Left hand through the center. Allow hands to clasp behind the right thigh. Closer you draw the leg to the body, again, the greater the stretch. Now, the stretch may feel very different on this side than on the other side. It will all depend on the flexibility and the mobility within the hamstring. You 
choose your depth, but again, feel where the body would, wants to be rather than forcing it to where the ego wants it to be. Option to extend the right leg to flex and stretch into the right hamstring. If you opt for that, press hamstring into the clasped fingers, send the left heel toward the sky, draw right toes down toward body. Option to inhale and draw everything closer to the body again. Chin, checks in, more in line with the chest than with the sky. Take three more rounds of breath. Right toes, sole of left foot comes to ground. Gaze can be up at the sky. Gaze can be out over your left fingertips. Take six rounds of breath. Allow left shoulder to stay connected to the ground. Draw knees toward, half, toward the shoulders if happy baby is something your body is needing in this moment. And take and grab hold of thighs or backs of knees or shins or come through the center of the legs. Grab around the outsides of the feet. Allow tailbone to remain on the ground. Lots of times I see happy baby like this. Leave happy baby on the ground. Press into wherever you have hold of with your hands press right back into your hands. Give yourself your own resistance. And maybe you rock side to side. Give your spine a little massage. Maybe you embrace the stillness. Let's take three more rounds of breath. our way into Shavasana. Whatever shape works for you, perhaps you have props with you that you would like to take underneath your knees or underneath your head. Perhaps if you're outside and you've gotten a little chillier instead of a little warmer, you re-zip um, rather than unzip. Perhaps if you'd like to open across the collarbone, lift the heart a little bit higher, you tuck the left shoulder under, you tuck the right shoulder under, chin, Tucks toward chest once again, rather than toward sky. Big breath in. Allow the body to begin to soften and settle into its space. Soften through the brow. Let the top row of lashes rest on the bottom. And the tongue find its resting place behind the teeth. Jaw muscles relax through the face. Spreading into the neck and the upper back and the shoulders. Softness into arms, wrists, palms and backs of hands and into the fingers. To our heart spaces, 
where instead of building barricades and hiding that away, we allow in all of the love, all of the joy, and all of the light that lives around us so that we can then turn that around and send that outward. Find that softness as it makes its way into your side body, to the space between the bottom of the rib cage and the top of the waist. Across the belly and the low back. Down the glutes. Front and backs of thighs. Around the knees, down the calves and shins toward the ankles. Tops and bottoms of feet. And as you reach the toes, scan the body once more from crown of head to tip of toe. And scan for anything else that may be gripping or holding tension. Inhale and collect it. Exhale, release it as you soften. And find yourself completely supported, not only by the earth beneath you, but by all of the beautiful energy that surrounds you. As you begin your journey back from this space, reflect on the last 24 hours and find one moment that filled you with joy, that filled you with warmth and love and light, and raised your vibration to such a high frequency that in that moment, everything was right. Allow that sensation to come back into this moment with you and become a part of you so that when you come back, you carry that love and light and joy with you and spread it to everyone, especially to those who seek it. Because like will always attract like and joy will always attract joy. As we send out, so shall we receive. Negativity cannot reach the place where joy lives and it simply falls away. And so I invite you once more to bring that sensation back into the space with you as you begin to deepen your inhale Lengthen your exhale. Begin to bring tiny movements back into fingers and toes. Rotation back into wrists and ankles, two or three times one way, and then the opposite. And when the body is ready, reach arms and legs long in opposite directions before finding your way onto whichever side calls to you in this moment. Perhaps with knees drawn into waist, perhaps legs long, but head at rest on upper arm to support the neck. For it is right here in this space that we are given the opportunity to reopen, to reawaken and to re-experience all of the love and the light and the joy that is constantly around us. So as you are ready, I invite you to inhale, press into top hand, extend top leg long. Slowly begin to find your way back to seated. Allow the head to be the last thing to rise. 
Perhaps eyes remain closed, if that's comfortable in your headspace, perhaps open and unfocused. But however you arrive, bring hands together at heart center, slight tuck into chin to allow a beautiful flow of energy from crown of head all the way to sacrum and back. We'll close our practice with a community breath followed by the sacred chant of Om. If you wish to join in the chant, we take a second round of breath and then to directly exhale to Om. If you'd rather sit back and enjoy the vibe, I encourage that as well. It is an amazing vibe to ride. Let's inhale together, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale to Om. Draw thumbs to third eye center, the space between the eyebrows. And we give so much gratitude for this day, for the sun giving us its warmth and its light, reminding us that there are more days with sun in our future. And we give gratitude for the spaces that we are all in in this moment, for it is in those spaces that our beautiful energy lives. And above all things, we give so much gratitude simply for the gift of waking up today. The light and the love in me honors, respects, and bows to the light and more than anything to the love in each and every one of you. Namaste.